Hey guys, Ultra Steel here, we're continuing the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So in the last part, uh, we started our quest, and uh, we got four shrines uh, completed, and they all gave us a spirit orb. Uh, this is just like the old man wanted. It's very mysterious, and he wanted us to meet him at the center of all four of these shrines, so... See these four blue marks that I'm pointing to? We're gonna go in the middle of where all of them would be. Uh, you know, cross and connect. So it has to be the Temple of Time. Okay, let's see. I should probably slow down because I do want to get some possible materials or bugs or insects. And uh, from this point on, uh, hopefully I'll be able to talk louder. Uh, I can't completely negate all the noise in my area, so sorry if you do hear some noises. Uh. But yeah, so far- oh darn it, there was a lizard back there. But so far we were doing pretty good. Uh, I did die a, a few times though, last part, so maybe not that good, but... We at least killed some enemies that were tough, so, yeah. Okay, let's see... Maybe there's an insect behind that tree. Or not. There's some things that I didn't mention about cooking earlier, and uh, it's pretty vital that I do. So, next time I try to cook, I'll show you what I mean. Let's see here. No, I'm fine. Just ignore him. That'll be fine. Hmm. Did I already get the two? Yeah. Like I said, you want to collect as many of those ancient screws as possible. It's very nice. So good. So, uh, you'll notice the statue is glowing here, so we're gonna go ahead and talk to the statue. For those who have played Skyward Sword, this may look very familiar. You who have conquered the shrines and claimed their spirit orbs, I, I can now offer you great power. It appears you have claimed four spirit orbs. In exchange for four spirit orbs, I will amplify your being. So tell me what it is you desire. We're going to go for the stamina vessel for right now. I know that you want to go for hearts early on if you don't want to die, but trust me on this. Right now, stamina is the most important thing. You need to be able to get to where you're gonna go and you're gonna need to be able to use your freeze frame arrow shooting ability or you know shooting in the air during slow motion. Because remember that dream stamina. And this is also for climbing. And something else that I'll get into later. So just get stamina for right now. <sighs> the blessing of the goddess has made you that much more resilient, I see. Here I am. Get up here, quickly. Alright, sure. That's strange. I saw some blue flames coming out of him. Hopefully he's not dying, or maybe he's like a... I don't know. Strange entity. Maybe he's not very human. So you can actually get up here by using this ladder, so... It's pretty useful. Ooh, that's too much. But what's cool is if you're climbing a ladder and your stamina runs out, you'll fall like you would with uh, climbing a mountain, so... Thank goodness, because that would be pretty troublesome. And uh, we're gonna go up there real quick. Because there's actually a Korok Seed. There's some, uh, there's a lot of Korok Seeds in the Great Plateau. 
But I'm not gonna get all of them right away because it seems like only some of them spawn once you um once you like once you do this uh, next part, they should all spawn. But uh, there's one uh, Korok seed in the beginning that you'll find, but um, you won't be able to get to it until you talk to this guy again after this cutscene. So for that reason, I'm, I'm just gonna wait a while and we'll collect more Korok seeds down the road. But for right now, do I have more stamina? Yeah. For right now, I just want to get this over with and get farther in the story. Yeah. Alright. I'm down. Ooh, careful. I don't want to die. I don't want to fall like the other times. Nope. Eh, we'll be fine. Um, wait, is he? Hold on. Where is that guy? I lost a uh, side of him. Hold on. Oh, okay. Duh. That's embarrassing. Okay. Sorry if you're a dog in the background. Uh, again, I, I can't control all the noise around me, unfortunately. <laughs> well done there, young one. Now then, the time has come to show you who I truly am. I was King Rome Bosphoramus Hyrule. I was the last leader of Hyrule. A kingdom which no longer exists. The Great Calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path, lo, a century ago. It was then that my life was taken away from me. And since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. To know Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom, but his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. But there was also a prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear, and the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics, the divine beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the Guardians, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. This coincided with ancient legends, oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power, and her appointed knight, chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. It was they who sealed Ganon away, using the power of these ancient relics. One hundred years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power, and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the Divine Beasts. With the Princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots Champions, a name that would solidify their unique bond. 
The princess, her appointed knight, and the rest of the champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay. Ganon was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. from deep below Hyrule Castle, seized control of the Guardians and the Divine Beasts, and turned them against us. The champions lost their lives, those residing in the castle as well. The appointed knight gravely collapsed while defending the princess. And thus, the kingdom of Hyrule was devastated absolutely by the Lamity Ganon. However, the princess survived to face Ganon alone. Link, you are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. Princess was my own daughter, my dear Zelda. And the courageous knight who protected her right up to the very end. That knight was none other than you, Link. You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. And then you were taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. The words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself, and nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom, I have no right to ask this of you, Link. But I am powerless here. You must save her, my daughter, and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Somehow, Ganon has maintained control over all four divine beasts, as well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. I suggest that you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kakariko village. There you will find the Elder Impa. She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. Consult the map on your Shiga slate for the precise location of Kakariko village. Make your way past the twin summits of the dueling peaks. From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. Hmm. Go on. Here's the prayer glider. Just, I promised. So yeah, guys, uh... There's our prayer glider. It's amazing. What's also amazing is that Nintendo has finally went with voice acting for a Zelda game, and well, it's been done before, which I don't want to get into, uh, CDI games, <clears throat> but we'll worry about that. But this game is actually more better. With that, you should be able to safely fly off the cliffs surrounding this area. And I think that's it. Mm. I've told you everything I can. Blake, you must save Hyrule. Alright. Sounds good. Here about the chest. Special items in here. Once I empty out my slots. So yeah, that story he told is pretty interesting. So that robotic thing we saw earlier in the last part was actually a guardian. The gate guardian, it seems like. That will be face the real ones that are, aren't like damaged like that. It's gonna be pretty tough. So from now what we're gonna 
do is try to save Zelda, first of all. But, uh, we're gonna go to where King told us to, which is Takariko Village, so we're gonna go past the Twin Peaks now. If there's some enemies. Eh, I'll take them out. Why not? Funny is if you take their weapon away, they get into this animation where they get mad, and that allows you to hit them more. So that's a plus. And usually, when you're approaching one of these uh, camps, if you hit the little lantern, sometimes it'll fall and it'll hit like a a flaming uh, barrel. Which should go without saying, those things have huge range, so be very careful. We can't- Whoa! I did not see you behind me. Yeah, these black boko blends are really strong. Okay, let's see. Not sure if I'm gonna be able to finish them off, unless. Can't get us from up here. I'm gonna eat something. There we go. Now I feel most here. Alright. Um, as you may notice, there's, there's a chest up there, and with these kind of enemy forts, if you defeat all the enemies, you're able to unlock that chest. But right now, we can't do that. So maybe if I try distracting him, maybe on to something. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Unless. Darn it. That was not a good idea. Oh, man. These powered up enemies are really giving me trouble. Not so much from dying, it's just a matter of, well, they don't die so easily. And I love that, but it's like, I need, I need stronger weapons. So, I'm gonna have to explore more. And not get killed. Two things I seem to struggle with so far. Let's see. Alright, so now let's go to the Doing peaks like the old man mentioned. Um, by the way, which reminds me, I forgot to tell you guys. So, as that man said, it'd be it'd be unwise to go directly to Ganon right now. You can go to him uh, right now, but and fight him. Like, but that's not a good idea. Because not only is this master mode, but well, you just you're just starting your journey, so it's best if you do it. Much, much lighter. Just my advice. Hmm, should I go over there? Yeah, I'll be fine. Okay. 
It's really nice. So now we are exiting the Great Plateau. It was up there. Now we're down here. Behold, Hyrule Kingdom. Now, as I said, this world is huge. There's so much to explore. It's gonna be great. So many Korok seats, so many shrines, so many items to collect. So many side quests. It's gonna be nice. See, as you can see, the other reason I got the uh, stamina boost from that um, you know, upgrade was because it helps you run more. It just makes traveling more faster. Plus, we're not going to be running into too many dangerous enemies on the way. Well, I mean, I would say that indefinitely the original quest, but this is master mode, so I just might need that fourth heart. But right now, I just kind of prefer running. Hmm. Here we have some uh, crickets. Restless, restless cricket. They're good for making stamina, stamina potions. So we'll get some of those. And uh, just like other Zelda games, if you have a sword out, you can actually cut grass and you'll find some stuff in them. Stuff in it. Oops. Okay. Anything there? Nope. Come on. Give me something. Something. Oh! Darn it. Oh well, it was worth a shot. And, uh, I also should have mentioned this, if you're- if you have two-handed weapons, or, or any weapon, for example, let me- let me explain. So with the one-handed weapon, like a sword or, you know, this club or whatever, if you hold Y, you can charge up with a spin attack. Or... If you have a lance, or a spear, hold this, you can hold it and it'll, it'll do like a flurry of attacks, so depending on which weapon you have, uh, different outcomes happen by holding Y. So, I already explained what the two-handed weapons uh, charge attack does. So just be wary of what you have at your disposal with that, because it will be useful depending on certain combat in the game. That's another reason I got the stamina upgrades, that way I can perform some of those moves more effectively, and longer, so, yeah. Let's see. This rock looks interesting. Oh, no, 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 that's actually a monster. Behold. Stone Talus. We are not fighting him right now. Especially right now. Goodbye. We'll find him later when we get more powerful items. Yeah, we'll be safe in here. Okay. So, in these forts, usually you're gonna find some Korok seeds or other nice items. He sure is persistent. I'll give him that much. Alright, let's see. Let's get some arrows, or hopefully we'll see what's in these crates. Something good. Apples, arrows, not bad. Ah, uh, darn it. Unfortunately, when you hit some of this stuff, it... Oh. Go, uh, it drains your durability for the weapon and it might break it, so. You have to be wary of that, unfortunately. But it's worth it. The Traveler's Claymore isn't that good anyway. Hmm. Alright. Go away, sir. Yeah, I'll just take his. I'll take that. 
that rusty clear more. Not bad. I really appreciate you guys coming to life and hey, destroy it so that way I can take your stuff. It's very nice. Of you guys. Another guy. Let's see what's in these guardians. Yeah, these guys are like really. Like these guardians are really tough. If you guys encounter some of them, it's best to stay away for when you're starting out because they are strong. And they can actually kill you when hit, so be careful. Scary stuff. Hmm. Gotta make room for some of this stuff. Let's see. Should I. Well, I'll get rid of this. I don't need that Korok leaf right now. Uh, yeah, I'll be good. So yeah, the exploration in this game is amazing. And what the, who's throwing falling rocks over here? I'd like to know. Nobody, uh. Oh, maybe it was you guys. Like. Let's see. So yeah, the exploration of this game is really nice. Um, let's see. Should be something in here. It's not. But uh, don't listen to me though, because sometimes there is some useful items. There are some useful items. Um, so if you're talking in the background, uh, I'm sorry. I, I can't control that. Let's see. Oh, there's a shrine we can go to. Straight ahead. See that orange glow? Okay. Yeah, we're not gonna explore so much right now, actually. There's some stuff I wanna get. Woo. Move, 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 move! Bosh Kala Shrine. Alright. What's up with this one? The wind guide to you. So, with this one, you're gonna have to use the paraglider to go across. You have to use these windmills. Amber. It's not a bad reward if I do say so myself. So jump. There is one part that always gets everybody though. This part. You're supposed to stay with the wind currents throughout most of it. And then right here, you can actually turn and you'll find a chest. Um, so if you get out of that wind current, you're gonna have a hard time trying to get back over here. So just be careful that I'm gonna get rid of this spear because we used it quite a bit against some enemies and well, it's gonna break anytime soon, I imagine. Beep. Let's renew the weapons. Oh man. Can we make it? Yes, we can. Also, what I like is sometimes these guys have like different poses every time you meet them. Sometimes they look bored, frustrated, <laughs> impressed, focused. It's pretty funny.
Oh, man. So, once we visit Kakariko Village, um, there's still some other stuff to get. And then I think after we get the other stuff, uh, that's when I'll start collecting the Korok seeds. Yeah, because when, when I'm, when I'm going to start collecting them, that's when stuff is going to get really close. What the heck was that? So uh, here's your side quest tab. Basically tells you what side quests you have. Uh, this is from the DLC though, so in the original quest, if you didn't get the DLC, uh, you these wouldn't pop up. So let's read this one for example. Um, the red exclamation mark indicates where you can meet the person who is associated with the side quest and they'll help you figure it out. And you can check your map. And just go over there and you should be able to meet that person associated with the quest. So that's pretty useful. Let's see. But uh... Yeah. You're gonna be finding a lot of side quests. I recommend you do them because you do get some good money out of it. Oh my gosh. Did you guys just see that shooting star? Yeah, it's so lucky. Because those, like, are worth a lot of money. And they're good for materials, so I'm gonna go ahead and get over there real quick. First, let me talk to this guy. Maybe seem. I may be somewhat used to seeing bad omens by now, but that, well, let's just say it's bad at the most. We're doomed! I don't mean. I mean, don't panic. Sorry, who are you? I've met. Well, it doesn't matter who you are, really. I was getting tired of talking to myself, so you've come at a good time. By the by, those strange things that popped out of the ground, did you see them? I'm not talking about mushrooms here. I'm talking about those towers. They seem to have popped over all... place. All over the place. And that's not the only strange thing that's happened. Those long deserted trends suddenly started oh. falling. You know what this means, don't you? The end is near. With all this craziness happening, I've been keeping an eye on that thing. Just to see if it suddenly starts moving. You know? What thing? I'm talking about that guardian, of course. Haven't you heard those old stories of Hyrule? See that thing over there? The one shaped like an overturned urn? That is what I'm talking about. Mm. Did you know some of them can move? One of them once tried to chase me down and kill me. This one here? No, I'm just a different one. That one was closer to the, to the castle, but before the forest. Or the forest. Hmm. When they spot you, they shoot blue beams of light at you. And I was so sure that was the end for me. I was prepared for the worst. But I somehow managed to escape into the nearby woods. You think it was my lightning fast reflexes that saved me? Ha, ah, I wish. Truth is, I just got lucky. Anyway, I hear guardians like that still wander around Hyrule Castle. Be careful. Alright, we will. Oh man. So there's that fireplace over there if you want to make a day. It's probably a good idea to avoid fighting uh, those Stalfos Boko Blints. Because you know the ones that pop out of the ground. Because they can be a bit of a pain. Hopefully I should be able to get to that guy. Or that shooting star. Usually those disappear at like 5 p.m. So we have like three hours game time. So we should be fine. I'm gonna get this. No, 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 no. You guys just mind your own business. And I'll do mine. that and move on man look at the atmosphere There's some towers over there we can go to right now but I just want to stay focused on one thing something my friend pointed out was that this game has a lot of distractions and 
Honestly, I think everybody says that, and it's true. Like, there's so many sad quests to do, and I'm not complaining. Like, that's that's good game design. That means that with this open world, you're gonna find stuff wherever you go, and it encourages you to, you know, go about your path. Look, pork suit. I just got this one because it was on the way. So, here we go. Here, I'll put like a little mark there so we all know that I got it. It's starting to turn daytime. Oh no. You guys are here. Not sure if I'll be able to make it up there, actually. I should be able to. Just be careful. Okay. Also, I have to be quick, so. Snap. Ooh. Come on, come on, come on. It's turning day. We don't need that. Come on. I don't think we're going to be able to make it. But it's fine, because this is where we want to go anyway. See up there. It's about to disappear once it turns five. Oh well. It's alright. Let's just go to this tower, because this uh, this is where I've been wanting to go to. As before, you want to be careful with your climbing, but um, some other towers you encounter throughout the world uh, won't be so easy to climb. They're going to have their own little gimmicks to them, so you want to be careful. So I have stamina to get back up there. we have the map of our next region that we're at. I really love the music and the cutscenes for these things. It's really nice. Scanning area. I see you tower. Oh, and there's a shrine over there, too. Additional functionality detected. Hmm, so that means we get an update for our Sheikah Slip. Searching for shrines. Sheikah sensor. So this helps us find shrines when we're when we're moving. It'll help us detect where they are. So this is gonna be real useful. I recommend you have this on at all times. Or at least most of the time. It can be pretty annoying, so if it does get on your nerves, you can always turn it off. But we're gonna keep it on. So there's a, there's a shrine in those mountains probably. First, I want to mark that one because you want to you want to get a good view when you're up here on these towers and try to plan where you're going to go next. Let's see, 
I saw the cutscene that there was like a, another tower. Okay. I think, I think that was the shrine that I saw in the cutscene. So, in that case, we're all set. So, we can just go ahead. Hmm. Although, let me see. Sneak attacks. When you do sneak attacks, uh, the amount of attack that is dealt is eight times the power of your weapon. So since this is like 20, 20 times eight, that's 160. So be sure to do more sneak attacks. You're probably gonna have to be doing that uh, because a lot of the enemies right now are really powerful. I drop something though? I think he did. Well, they always drop something, but I just want to see if he drops some arrows. And yes, he did. Alright, take it. One way to farm for fish is you just have a bomb and yep. throw it. You should be able to hit them like that. But they're pretty far away. So I'm use that. Right now, I think a good strategy would be to get materials because we can cook some stuff for ourselves. So... Yep. All right. Ooh, Staminoka, Staminoka bass. These are really good because they help your stamina by a lot, and I mean a lot. Practically a whole uh, meter gets refilled if you cook this thing. So be sure to get them. Talk to the frog. Sorry, froggy, but I need your I need your help. Fish are you? A mighty carp. Not as good as a magic carp, though. Those will never be outclassed. You know it. Yep. Agro bass, not bad. More health. Just gotta be careful. And there we go. Ooh, all three of them. That's a, that's a deal right there. Six raw furry drumsticks. It's delicious. Well, it's actually kind of gross, but once we cook them, they'll be delicious. Here we have some uh, enemies up ahead. These are brand new enemies, and they're pretty powerful. And really fast, so... Be careful. They are called Lazalfos. And when they're in the water, they like to spit at you. I like to consider them the raptors of Breath of the Wild. Oh, here's some random dude. <laughs> I didn't see him, honestly. You gotta be real toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the monsters out here. Oh, oh man. But as I said before, uh, they're pretty big on HP, so we're just gonna leave, leave them alone for right now. Oh man, okay. That's a fair trade. You hit me, I hit you. Although I do want to stuff. Balloon, sneaky river snail, pretty good. And there's some fish up there. Oh, there. 
I like how they're just there. It's funny. Oh, I was, I was like, did they swim off the off to the shore or something? It's just strange to me. So it's just far away. There you go. Travor's bow. Uh, darn it. We're full. I guess we could play some of this. It's the same thing. Just this one's brand new, so we might as well take it. Here we have a strange looking ore. If you hit this, you get uh, special items. Now, the way to break these is not with swords or lances, but with two handed weapons. Usually, they'll break easily in one hit with them. So be sure to use two hundred weapons when you're trying to break those auras, because it just saves you time and durability. Ridahi Shrine. Let's see what you guys got for me. Yeah. That is one thing I'm going to be doing, though. I'm definitely going to be going to the shrines, because, well, hey, I need those upgrades. So whenever you see those like circles like this, uh, the only way to, the only thing you have to do is just have a ball be put in it, and it completes the puzzle, so pretty simple. Okay, so with that one you have to let go so that way it drops back down. Alright. And there we go. Excellent. Of course, that bo that dog in the background is like with me. Ah, so close. Okay, so this one you have to like let it go for a while and then trace. Darn it! Let's try again. And hmm, perfect. We're doing pretty good so far. Although I wonder how we're gonna get that chest. Aha! Those barrels are made out of metal, so we should be able to use it to push that thing down. Oops. Assume this should be powerful enough to knock it down. Okay, it's not gonna work. Maybe if I just yeah, I'm probably gonna have to jump off and do it. Turn it. Oh. There is a way to do this. I want that chest. Turn it. damage. Did they increase the amount of damage you take when you fall? It's terrifying. And that's awesome actually, so I'm gonna I'm gonna heal up one once more just to be safe. Okay. Come on, you can drop down. Gets me out of metal. No. Come on, how do you how do you get up there? Yes. Okay. If I could just. Oh, that was close. That was weird, but I don't care. Climber's bandana. This is a really good item. Now we just add more defense. See. 
Uh, oh yeah, I should probably tell you about the clothing too, so... Uh, the three clothing you have, uh... They all add up with defense points, so for each point, counts as a quarter of a heart, so... Since we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that's one heart... Wait, hold on. That's one heart and three quarters of a heart of defense we have. So if we got hit by an enemy that dealt like two hearts of damage to us, it would only inflict a quarter heart now, I imagine. So that's pretty useful. But yeah, with this climber's bandana, as I said before, certain uh, clothing gives you certain abilities. So because of this, we'll be able to climb faster. So that's a plus. <clears throat> Although I feel like right now wouldn't be the best time to do that because let's be honest, we need more we need more stamina right now. I believe there is a cooking pot around here. If we do find one of those, we should be good. Because I do have some materials to work with, such as these. So I'm gonna see if I can find a cooking pot around here. I'm pretty sure there is. I think I have to go along the path though. I think it's over there, yeah. Yeah, it's over there, I remember now. So I'm gonna get to this cooking pot, and there's a few more shrines around here that we're gonna do. And some fish to get. Always good. You are not always good though. In fact, you're never good. Octorok Eyeball. This game's violent, but I love it. Oh no. Well, there is a cooking pot, but unfortunately they're using it, so... You know what? I'm gonna fight for it. Ooh, they're giving me a lot of fish right now. Not that complaining. I welcome it. Alright. Oh wait, the pot's right here. I thought the, pot, the cookie pot was over there. In that case, let's get, let's get down to business. Hmm. Click one of you. So check this out. Um, if I if I cook this and this. Oh wait, hold on. If I cook this. And uh, Stamella Shroom, they'll add up uh, in the effect because they're both stamina items. So see how it has a little bit more? It's really good. Um, now unfortunately you cannot cook food and monster, port monster parts together, which is really unfortunate. So you can't cook uh, lizards or bugs with uh, food either, I should also mention. so. If you're going to cook specific things, keep food ingredients with food ingredients and keep uh, bug ingredients and lizard ingredients with monster parts. So remember, if you want to cook an elixir, all you need is just one monster part and one bug or lizard. So just letting you know now. Without further ado, let's, let's cook that again. We need as much of these as possible. Oh no. No! <laughs> no! What have I done? I'll be fine. I have this rock with me. <laughs> Can't get me in here, can you? I 
just like how when they go in the water they die, so... I should be fine. I'm gonna replace my shield right now. Because this one's about to break, so... We'll get rid of that one and replace it with this one. Have a nice day! Staminokas. I'll take it. Those are really good. Let's see. So I'm going to cook these really quick. I think we're good, guys. Let's just sneak up on him and... Darn it! Really? One more, and it's finished. <laughs> Shield on fire. What you gotta do? And with that, we did it, folks. Take them down. Inside. Boomerang. I'll take it. All right. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and climb this thing. A second thought, I think we'll do that in the next part. This video has gone quite a bit. So yeah, we're going to climb up here, because there's a shrine up there. 
judging by the indicator. So I will see you guys in the next part. Thank you guys for watching. Take care, peace, and have a good night. The next part, we're going to be exploring more over here and hopefully visit Kakariko Village by then. We got a lot done, so it wasn't in vain. Alright, see you guys. Peace.